Hey everyone, how are we doing? Okay, so let me just get this started. Everything I say is my opinion, mine alone. Please feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, so I want to start off with... Hang on. Generally, this video is going to be mostly Katie Joy. But there's one or two little differences in between. Possibly. Okay, so... Let's start with Lorian. Now I've seen numerous tweets in regards to Lorian recently. Um, the ones from Salty I shall put up here somewhere, and the one from her ex-husband, which was interesting, where he claims that Lorian had device a device that would hack people. Okay. Um, then there's the ones that Salty revealed after the interview. Um, text messages sent by Lorian to Salty. Then, moving on from Lorian, is straight into Katie Joy. She has once again gone after Emily D. Baker and Salty. Um, once again, getting everything messed up, as she does, because she doesn't think before she speaks. Um, she could have foot and mouth syndrome, or just, I don't know, anything. But, you probably remember during the time that she was being sued um, Emily D. Baker read out some papers that Katie thought were about her then going on to threaten to sue Katie which is hilarious in itself threatening to sue a lawyer how sad do you have to be so, yeah, once again, that's happened. Um, apparently, someone from the Insider uh, spoke to her and said that Salty had directed them in the way, the way to Emily D. Baker's channel whilst Emily was speaking about Clark Swanson. Um, Katie has gone off about Emily being biased towards Tati. In all honesty, if I was reading anything of Katie's, and if Katie was coming at me the way that she goes at Emily, damn right I would be biased. Why the hell would I give that woman any gratitude? Why the hell would I want to listen to anything she had to say? I wouldn't. And I wouldn't attempt to either. Considering she'd already threatened Emily Baker to um, sue her several times now. I wouldn't bother. If... Katie said half the stuff she said to Emily to me. I wouldn't pick a phone call off her. I wouldn't give her three seconds of my time. The woman's got something missing up there. Then again, she could be a few sandwiches short of a picnic. If she had a fucking picnic. Just saying. Okay, moving on. Still Katie though. Katie had an interview with Reed. Now Reed, I believe, is the brother of the new Mrs. Duggar. I know nothing about the Duggars, so I can't really comment on their lifestyle. Katie has a lot to say about the Duggars. Which anything Katie says I believe the opposite to be honest. 
because it's kind of pearl cakey. And you always know when Katie is laying. Her lips start moving. So, talking to Reed, the brother of the new Mrs. Dagger. Wow, does this girl have issues. Trying to to get her brother to think to talk about um why they're so excited to get married. Katie, I don't think her brother wants to be thinking about his sister's bedroom activities. Um, she looked disgusted every time she brought up that. He was part of the LGB, LGBTQ community. I don't know if I got that right. I'm really hoping I did. Katie looked more and more disgusted. Like, seriously, her face was like thunder. And I thought she was an advocate for, for the um, community. But when she was told that the Duggars didn't treat her any less, treat him any less than the others, wow. Wow, she got to cut that into me right there. But I felt like he put her in a place without actually being blunt about her. And she knew it too. That face was a picture. I'm going to stick that up here now. But wow. She tore apart this girl's, this couple's wedding. She showed the woman in her wedding dress. Which, come on, she could have had a, he could have had a contract with someone. To release her wedding dress on their magazine or something like this. The woman's vile. Like, who do you think you are? Then she was talking about. Um, let me just check the name a second. Amber Portwood's daughter. Now, the little I've seen of this young girl who is 12 i believe she is one smart little kid she was being asked by her dad to invite her mum to her birthday but she didn't want to because her mum has never been her mum but the dad's new wife had been since she was four now, Katie was claims that she was crying watching this. For this to affect anybody, they have to have a heart. And sadly, that's something Katie is missing. And then she went on to talk about Amber not being in the little girl's life and how little she's tried to do with her. And I went to this broke her heart. And I couldn't stop thinking, but Katie, your son is eight right now. By the time he's 12, if you don't sort your ideas out, back yourself up and sort your ideas out, that little boy is going to be singing the same song. And you criticise someone for being a housewife isn't that what you did until your husband got laid off katie before you started becoming the breadwinner in the house and making sure everybody knew about it 
Isn't that what you did? Wasn't you a housewife looking after your son? You think you're so much better than everyone else. So much better. And this one's important. Suzanne Tinkermeyer. Now I get Katie had a fallen out with her a year ago. They had an arranged meeting online, a rent collab. And according to Katie, her accounts were being hacked left, right and centre. And she couldn't take three minutes out of that day to apologise to Susan and let her know that you're sorry you couldn't make it or you won't be able to make it before the interview collab whatever you want to call it but then again katie is one selfish piece of work who would be absolutely fuming if it was her if she was going to have been let down, would have been going absolutely ballistic. Now, recently, Suzanne has been talking about her health and how there's a possibility that she has MS. Suzanne is very much like uh, Charlotte. She has a good heart. Honest as the day it comes. One of the sweetest, kindest people you could ever want to meet. Um, she is an amazing woman who looks to have had an amazing life. I'm not saying it's always been easy for her. She's had her struggles. We all do. But she's still standing. And she's still fighting. And she is such a lovely person. And Katie accusing her of talking about her all the time. Katie, Suzanne hardly talks about you anymore. Get off your high horse. Back the fuck off. Because I'm sure with Suzanne's health issues, she doesn't need you breathing down her neck. Just absolutely rude. And selfish on so many levels. Who on earth you think you are, I don't know. You make me absolutely sick, Katie. Everything that I've said about tonight are things that disgust me. Lorianne, I believe. She was playing a game. She went to Brown first. She couldn't get her own way. She went to Salty. And for a while there she felt needed. With all this information she was giving Salty. But then, just like Brown, she was no longer required. And at the first given opportunity, she decided that it was a good idea to now attack Salty. Whilst in Ellie B's life.
And she's only done this because no one has given her the attention she wants anymore. There's some right fruit cakes out there. So I'm going to try and put the screenshots in. Um, if I have any trouble putting them in, I'm going to put them at the end. So that might happen. And with that, I am going to say goodnight. It's very late here in the UK and I need some sleep. So have a great night. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you in the next video. Good night.